Hey guys, how's it going, Electron Man? And I've been working on that tire out there, and um, you know, you start one thing, and this whole tire project's turned into a whole other thing. I'll, I'll update you on another video. But anyway, I've decided I'm going to use a power winch to raise and lower my tilt tire. And uh, was going to use a boat winch, but I, first time I did not like how many times I got to crank it. And anyway, long story short, I had a, a brand new Harbor Freight 2,500 pound ATV winch, which would be perfect for what I need. And I've had it for sitting around for like four or five years, so I thought, man, I'll go find that thing, and uh, we'll just turn this into an automated power winch for the raising and lowering the tire. Well, lo and behold, I get the winch out, I mount it out there on the tire, and uh, and it uh, it. It, I free spool it out and get some stuff hooked up and I go to test it and it's working fine I mean it's brand new in the box but I lift it something I want to lower it and I go to lower it and it won't lower the button I push 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 nothing nothing's happening so brand new out of the box this Badland winch is bad and of course it's like five years four or five years old I mean I've had it sitting out there in the shop I had to blow dust off of it so there's no warranty on it so you know it's either I go buy another winch or fix the old one so I got the um, messing with it so we're going to bring you along and show you how to repair a uh, Badland uh, wireless winch controller because uh, that's what the problem is. I mean, obviously the motor's not bad on the winch or it wouldn't pull in. It's the reverse function and uh, I swapped the wires on the winch and it'll it'll power in and power out. So I knew it wasn't the winch, I knew it was the control box. So uh, let me go ahead and get this camera positioned here. Hopefully we can help you out here and we'll kind of explain how this works. Wasn't planning on doing a... Uh, Okay, uh, show you. Obviously, here's the box the bad winch comes in. Okay, here's the box the bad land winch, the control box for the bad land winch. And uh, it's just four screws taken apart. And once you open it, here's what's inside of it. And basically, what you have inside of it is you have this little uh, box here, and then you have this relay. And then and how the reverse and forward work on this is obviously, if you look at this, it's just a relay that has three contacts and uh, and two positives and two negatives. So what happens is, is these two here go to your, to power your winch, and then this one here, and this one here go to the 12 volt supply. And obviously, what happens is when the relay switches one way, it positives on this side, negatives on that side, it switches the other way, negatives on this side, positives on that side. So that that it's really simple. It, it's like 200 amp switch. So I figured it was either the relay or the uh, wireless box. Well. Let me go ahead and show you what I found here. I got got things connected here. I just got this hooked up to a 12 volt power supply right now, but uh, I can definitely show you. Here's a little remote that came with it. Go ahead and power it on. You just hold it down to get it to power on. It's powered on. Okay, if you do a uh, in, you hear that? That's this box with these wires turning the relay on and off. But when I hit out. I get nothing so I'm like is it the relay or is it the box and actually you can look here I got my test meter here you can see on this test meter that when I do it out there's my voltage it's feeding it out but, or when I do in it's doing the voltage in showing you that it's feeding the relay or the motor in it's feeding the motor and then when you do out it does nothing dead as a door now so to test it what I did was is I decided well okay so one does one one does the other so really all you got to do is swap these wires around like so now then what happens is is in works out doesn't work so it's obvious the white wire the white control for the end on this little control box is defective go figure brand new out of the box Guess I should have tested it before I stored it. So good news is I found out on Amazon that you can actually buy these wireless boxes easily. There's all kinds of, of them. And I actually found one that was like 15, 16 bucks. If you notice, they're almost a clone of each other. There's a pile of different brands. But basically it comes like this, comes with your wiring. But the thing I like about this is actually I'm kind of glad. Well, I'm not glad it happened, but since it happened, it's kind of cool is the one I bought actually comes with two remotes. And to be honest with you, I like this remote a lot more than this little keychain fob. This just feels better in the hand and that and I'll have a spare now. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the process of replacing this wireless uh, control box. 
and like I said, I already know how to test it. So all we're, I, I'm pretty sure all we're going to have to do is match up. If you notice, the color codes are even the same. I'm going to have yellow here, white here, red where red goes, black where black goes, and then this is your wireless antenna. So uh, let me do a little taking apart here. I'm probably going to have to put, uh, I'm going to put some, some uh, it's got a different type of connector for my relay, so I need to take the white one and the uh, yellow one and put new connectors on them. And let's see, how's the power hooked up? Well, the power will work good. It hooks up right there. And, uh, and it looks like the eyelet for the ground is not big enough, so I need to replace three wires here. So I'll be back when I get these wires replaced, and I'll go ahead and get them disconnected here and <clears throat> hook up my new uh, switch and or my new uh, control module for the relay switch on my switch. I'll be back. Okay, and just like magic, there we go. We're all done. And yellow went on here. Have you noticed, I was going to put new connectors on, but I decided the old one's junk anyway. Just cut the connectors off of it and uh, splice in the wires. Just easier to do than to replace the connectors. So, so anyway, we just decided just to cut and heat shrink them and solder them. I wanted to make sure they were good and permanent, so I did solder them. But anyway, there we go. Now we're all wired back up. Go ahead and hit my test probes back up here. And I should have click click on both directions now. New module installed. It looks hunky dory there. Turn it on. Oops. That would be in, and that would be out. One fixed winch. And how I know it's working right is if you take it down here, I'll just move the camera over here. If you notice, I got my little test meter here when I do in 12, 13 volts. When I do out, negative 13 volts because that's how it works. It just switches the poles on the motor. So positive negative yeah I've just had a bad little wireless receiver shame on you Harbor Freight shame on me for not testing the product when I got it home about five years later this is how you fix a uh, wireless controller on a Badland switch and you know it this is really a simple setup you could uh, easily replace the relay too in fact uh, I think it's another 15 so for 30 bucks you could basically rebuild this whole thing and put it in the back in the box and be up and running not a real complicated system, but I thought I'd just give, take you along and show you since I had to do this repair on it. On a brand new product, go figure. Who would have ever thought Harbor Freight would sell something defective off the shelf? That almost sounded kind of uh, sarcastic. And there's how it fits all back in the box. Uh, it's got some little notches. You just put the relay in that way with the notch down and the little box in there. And if you notice, it's got little tabs there. They're going to line up at that and that. And you just take them on. Come on top, and there you go. He's all back together. Put the four screws back in it, and we have one rebuilt winch controller. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up the uh, video, and as always, have a great day. This is Electron Man.